hey, where are you? We'll find him. We don't have much time. This has got to be synchronized. And yes, John, I know I messed up last time, but I, I mean, come on, between you and me, those savage resistantians kind of deserve what they got, right? I mean, am I right? Oh, come on, what? Since when are you so pro rule of law all of a sudden? So lame. No, I understand that there are only so many Earths like ours. I promise this won't be like last time. I know what I need to do now. Yeah, I, I just used a teleporter at, at his house now. I've gotta go, bye. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I appreciate you trying to help me, but um, I think I'm going to pass. Well, I think I'm really onto something here with this novel. Um, well, I mean, I don't technically actually have anything, like, at all really uh, written yet, but, like, I, I mean, I can feel, I, mean, I can feel the greatness coming. Like, like I think any day now I'm just going to, like, start writing and, and I'll never stop and then and it'll get published, and then it'll be like the best-selling book in the country. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I just know it. I mean, like, you know how you get that kind of feeling sometimes? Well, okay, but I mean, I'm telling you, I'm not going to change my mind. All right, uh, talk to you later. All right. So I know this must be really surprising and confusing to you and be like blowing your mind right now, right? Uh, what? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, who are you exactly? Have we met before? Uh, don't you recognize me? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm you. Who? I'm you. What? Uh, no, you're not. I'm me. Um, what is your name? My name is Nicholas Nicholson. So your name is my name? Yes, I'm telling you, we're the same person. All right, I'm done here. Do you seriously not believe that I'm you? Dude. Nah. You don't think it's weird that I look exactly like you? What? What are you talking about? You look nothing like me. What? Do you somehow, like, not know what you look like? I could ask you the same question. Uh, I know what I look like, and it's nothing like you. Like, no offense, but you're, like, not very attractive at all. I mean, I'm not trying to say that I'm, like, the most attractive guy in the world, but, I mean, I'm at least, like, top five. I mean, probably top three, actually. Right? Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Basically, I'm here because, unfortunately, I have to kill you. Whatever. Yeah, you see, to provide better context for how this situation came about and the dramatic twist in our interaction, I first need to explain my backstory. So basically, and get ready for another cool twist, I'm an alien from outer space. Uh, yeah, okay. You don't believe me? Um, nah. Well, do you believe my impressively large and futuristic alien weapon technology thing? What, are you talking about that toy score gun? No, it's not. Whatever. Anyway, so my home planet is from a distant galaxy and it's dying. And so we have to find another planet like ours so that we could kill all the life forms there and replace them and call that planet our new home. Oh, wow. Fascinating. And I'm from a planet called Earth that is exactly like this Earth in every way. And life just happened to have evolved in the exact same way with humans, except that we actually call ourselves the Humanians in order to distinguish ourselves from the Resistantians uh, from a nearby star system who are almost almost human but with slightly different faces and outfits. And uh, our society and language happened the exact same way and with all the same people. Uh, you know, World War II and uh, Donald Trump and all that. Uh, and I have the exact same name as you and live the exact same life as you with the same life experiences and the same family and friends, etc. 
and actually the only difference between our worlds is that we actually got a slight head start evolution wise and are technologically more advanced than humans here in that we've invented like flying cars and wormholes and stuff and in our version of the Gregorian calendar it's actually the year 2023 and we live in a dystopian society with the Federation the centralized government and our Milky Way galaxy oppressing the Resistantians over resources to the point where a war broke out and it's basically destroyed our Earth. So we've been flying around looking for a new home and found this Earth. But we have to kill and replace the people here because they wouldn't understand, but I wanted you to understand. Oh. What? Um, I don't know. I mean, what do you want me to say? Um, I thought you'd be, like, surprised and impressed and then maybe scared because I'm about to kill you. Uh, yeah, I don't believe you. I mean, there's no way that could ever actually happen. There are over 700 quintillion planets in the universe, or at least that's what Google says. So there are a lot of opportunities for it to happen. Oh, you know what? I think I know what's happening here. You've written a sci-fi novel and want me to help you get published. But honestly, it just sounds like a bad attempt at a terrible parody of sci-fi with somebody who has no grasp of science or even what science fiction is. So, sorry, no thank you. But it's all true. And the science is really sound. Uh, your society is just much too primitive to understand the science and technology. And the technology is very delicate, you see, because uh, if you think about it too hard, the uh, frequency of your uh, brain waves will interfere with the ability of the technology to work. Um, okay. No, it will. And it doesn't even matter if you believe me, because the point of me coming here is that I have to kill you and pretend to be you for the rest of my life, and I feel, like, super bad about it, because, like, I mean, killing is wrong, and I'm like, oh man, but then it's just like, I mean, gotta do it, right? Uh, you know, for the greater good and all that, uh, and I know now that violent suppression is actually wrong, and that the Resistantians are the real good guys of the story, uh, even if they still kind of suck as people, uh, and that the Federation is corrupt and has too much power, and I've also learned that I've made a mistake or two myself, and I'm grateful to have a second chance by kind of sort of traveling back in time, in a sense, uh, and getting to correct all the bad mistakes I made, especially like deciding to get into politics in the first place. Um, yeah, okay, but, uh, I'm not interested in your novel, so, um, have a nice day. you believe me now? What the? 